Welcome back race fans to the RTC Racing Channel for race 11 of the NASCAR Heat 5 custom season. Today's race is coming to you from the last great coliseum, Bristol Motor Speedway. This should be an exciting race as all 40 drivers beat and bang around this half mile bull ring. I know I'm ready, and I hope you are as well, so let's get to some short track action. Okay, here we go. Ty Dillon and Michael McDowell go to the back, and uh, Matt Kenseth starting on the pole alongside Truex. Should be interesting. Qualified 15th, I hit the wall. Coming, coming off at three. two, so. Be ready. Hammer down, green's out. Car there on the outside. Car there on the outside. Clear high, clear high. Still there inside. All right, clear low. Whoa, there's some three wide action Still here in front of me. Inside. All right, clear low. Still there. Harvick looks like he's a man on a mission right now. All right, clear on that. Oh, except for right there, he just clear low, bud. shot up the track. Inside. Oh shit, Custer. It's my bad. Got getting in these corners a little bit deeper than I want to. Careful, still there. I'd like to know what's going on up here. Alright, time to go. Keep it nice and smooth for us. Careful, still there. Inside. Still there, inside. Whoa. There goes Kenseth. Saved it, thank you. Still there. Clear low there, inside. You got room, you're clear there. Still there. Well, it looks like a Hendrick party up front. Still there. You got room, you're clear there. Still there. Ah. Got loose with Harvick on my outside. Stay low. Clear high, clear high. Time to go this time by. Oh, downshifted. Oh, get it under control, Kurt. Oh, oh right damn. Inside. inside, inside. Clear low. That's my turn to get loose. <laughs> That was a lap. Just keep the car off the damn wall, it'd be alright. Oh no! Hold it. White flag, next time by. Outside, outside. I didn't throw the caution, thankfully. Car high, careful there. Clear all around there. Got a car load now. One more to go. Careful, still there. 
Well, I was in the top five. Oh, shit. You got room. You're clear there. Car on the outside now. All clear. That'll earn you a stage point. point. <laughs> Who won the stage? Kyle Busch. Well, that's exciting. Oh, I don't know why I'm so loose. I mean, there's hardly any tire wear. But, yeah, that's exciting. It's going to be a beating and banging kind of race. All right, be smart out there. Going green. Ready. Hold your line. Got one inside. Clear low, clear low. How the hell is BJ McLeod in the top 10? Stay low. All right, you're clear there. Looking inside now. Low clear. Oh, yeah, what the? Clear. Hold your line, got one inside. This game, I tell you, sometimes this game is inside. ass. Oh well. Careful, still there. All clear. I think I'm just gonna run the outside. Much faster out here. I need ten solid left. Concentrate. Oh, Kurt All Bush, clear. you dick. Super loose off, off a on corner exit. Oh, and then I hit the wall. Come on, Robert, keep it together here. It's gonna be a long second half of this race at this rate. Ah, I'm either loose to where I wash up and hit the wall, or I'm tight if I get back on the gas too late and I hit the wall. Hamlin needs to get the hell out of the way. Traffic's about to play a part in how this stage ends. Careful, go back. All right, now I need two more good laps from you. You're all clear up top there. Got one peeking in. Oh shit! Outside. Lap traffic is just like coming to a white flag is in the air. Freaking standstill. Oh shit, sorry Kyle. You're all clear up top. One last stage, way to go, driver. <sighs> well alright. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. <sighs> My arms are tired. <sighs> I've got thirty one more laps of this. Well thirty four, but oh, I'm gonna take all of this break for just a minute to catch my breath. Here we go. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready. Ready. Got one peeking outside. Clear all around there.
Uh oh, uh oh, hold it steady. Ah, I keep screwing up my entry. Really surprised at how well I'm doing right now. However, Staying consistent on my lap times, so that's all that matters. Although, Truex is definitely <laughs> making sure I don't pull too far away. And we'll see what happens once I hit lap traffic here. I'm sure they're not going to be willing to get out of the way too easily. Come on, Fincham. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you all just cut me a frickin' break? I will wreck every single one of you. Whoa, that's a surprise. Joey Logano's way back here in the 30s. That is not going to be a good... Oh, that was my bad. That's not going to be a good point today for Zachary. I see Hunter has made his way up to second. He's coming quick. All right, you're clear. Get back on the track. That black part down below on the bottom is a no no. Careful, still there. Tap the wall. <laughs> All right, you're clear there. Uh oh, wall. Stay high up here. Clear low, clear low. All right. All right, you're clear there. They're pretty good there negotiating that. Clear low. And there's Chase Elliott. I wonder what position he's in. He's got to be in the 20s. I mean, I don't even know where I've lapped up to, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the teens and I'm just putting my foot down here. Oh, get it under control, Chase. Oh. I will. Damn it. There we go. Careful. Still there. Top three using the needed. Ooh. Ten 
to go. Keep it nice and smooth for us. Top three, use it if you need it. Starting to lap cars for a second time here. Take my time here. We've got about a straightaway lead, so. If I could just get them all to go to the bottom, I'd be alright. So definitely better off running the outside. Ooh, three wide, this is gonna suck. Five to go, you got this. Clear high, clear high. You got room, you're clear there. You got room, you're clear. Oh wow, I've lapped a lot of people. Cause I see Kyle clear Bush up by. here. And there's our pole sitter. Alright, clear low. There's Byron, there's you're Kyle, there's Bowman. There. Yikes. I'm just coming through the field. All clear. And before any of you question it, I have not changed the difficulty. I, two more solid laps, bud. Keep it going. I am thoroughly surprised at how well I've run this race. Careful, still there. You got room, you're clear. Stay low. All right, let's go. White flag. You're all clear up top there. Don't tell me BJ McLeod's going to get a top 10 finish. Got a car coming inside now. There we go. Right, you're clear there. Great team let's see, does it invert nice the finish? Like, flag, like it did at Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denny Hamlin had the fastest lap. I led the most. On the move. Wow, really? I thought it would have been someone else, but okay. Tough break. <laughs> Alright, here's the results. Good, it didn't invert it. Although there are some surprising names up here, like Corey LaJoy and Cole Custer finishing in the top ten. Okay, let's do a rundown. In first was myself. And second was Jonathan. Fourth was Hunter. Seventh was Hampton. And eighth was Nick. Eleventh was Jason. BJ McLeod didn't get a top ten. He finished twelfth. Fourteenth uh, was Cole. Fifteenth was the stage one winner, John. Sixteenth was David. Twenty-third was Jeremy. Wow, what a bad day for him. And thirty-fourth was Zachary. Two laps down. Well, I'm sure we've got a few mix-ups here in the point standing, so let me go tally everything up and see what it looks like, and I'll be back with you all here in just a moment. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the first time this season that we have not had a single position change in the points. Hampton extended his points lead this week even though he finished three positions worse than Hunter did but thanks to those really good stage runs he was able to gain a few extra points there. So the big news is I've been keeping track of what the points cutoffs are for the end of the season for the championship. 
Now, the max points you can get in a race is 60. The least amount of points you can get in a race is 1. So therefore, your point spread is 59 points in a race. With four races left in the season, the point separation is 236. If you are 236 points outside of the lead after this race, you are not going to be able to win the championship at all. Now, with that being said, two drivers have unfortunately been mathematically eliminated, David in ninth and Jeremy in 10th. David, I sort of had a feeling choosing Matt Kenseth, who has some up and down races throughout the season, when even when I did um, just some practice races before the season started, I had a feeling he'd finish down there. Jeremy was the big one that I really am surprised at. Chase Elliott has not had any good races. He's finished, has stage points on only two races this season. So, unfortunately, David and Jeremy, you guys will not be winning the championship. But for everybody else, there's still hope. Now, the next race is Texas Motor Speedway. I'm going to flat out tell you, I hate this track. I hate this this going there, even in the Cup Series, for in, in real life. It, it's it's a garbage track. I hate it. Um, so there's definitely a good chance for somebody to sneak up there, get another win. But that being said, going to Texas, fast half-mile track, very, very wide. Not as much banking as Charlotte has or Atlanta. So... Multiple grooves can be run, but the ideal groove, I find, is the bottom. Uh, tire wear is not much of a big factor here for once. I don't recall ever having tire wear being an issue for me. It's just speed. I don't have the speed that I need for this race. I hope you all enjoyed this race. If you did, please, by all means, smash that like button. Let me know that you all are enjoying these. And as we get down to the nitty-gritty, four races left to go in the season. If you are, have enjoyed it and you want to keep up with it, see who comes out on top. If anyone can dethrone Hampton, please subscribe. But that's it here from Bristol Motor Speedway. And until next time, I'll see you all.